we need to write a program that converts a distance measure from inches to centimeters. Here it does not say what to read, what to write, but all what it says that you need to write a program to do this job. And it is giving you the relationship between inch and centimeter. So one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So that means if the input is an inch, to get the answer into centimeter, you have to multiply by 2.54. So what is the input? What is the process? And what is the output? Now the input will be, see it says here, write a program that converts from inches to centimeters. So the input will be a number in inches. So the input will be a number in inches and the output will be the number in centimeters. So we need two variables, one for input in inches, the second one will be for the output, which is centimeters. Now the calculation that we will do will be the input, which is inches, we multiply it by 2.54. Let's go to JGRAS and write a program. So we will create a new program, Java program, and we will start typing. Since we are going to read from the user, so we need to write import. Okay, let me enlarge it for you. Import Java util dot scanner. And then we will write public class and we will call it inches two centimeter. Converter. I know it's a long name, but it is easy to understand what is this program is doing. And then open the brackets for the class. Inside public static void main string ARGS. Now we write our program here. So prepare the keyboard for input. So we have a scanner. I will call it KVD equal new scanner system dot n. So we are preparing and now we take the input. For the input, we need to print a message to the user by saying please enter a number and enter. Okay, so I need to close the brackets. And now we need to read from the user. Now this will print only a message. It will not wait for the user. So to wait for the user, we need first to define the variable that will hold the number. It's not double. It's not integer. It's supposed to be double because inches. So we have a fraction. So I will call it inches equal uh, KBD because the name of the scanner is KBD dot next double. So why I'm using next double? Because the data type for inches is double. So now we need to do process. The process is the equation that we will write to convert from inches to centimeters. So we need another variable. I will call it centimeters, which stands for centimeter, which is equal to inches, the variable I have defined up, multiplied by 2.54. Finally is the output, which is a printing a message, system.out. Dot and length, and we say the value in centimeter is, and then we print the value which is CENTM. You have to write the name of the variable exactly as you defined it up. After we finish, we need to save the program because we did not save it, and we will save it into. March, okay, save. I need to give it a name. So the name should be the same as this name. So I will copy it. I don't want to type a lot. Save it. Uh, Included it into this project and it should be the same name. Dot 
Java. So let's run it. There is an error. Okay, we need to find a new tell. Java dot dot here. So I have to write dot. Okay. Compile it again. So there is no error. Now we run it. So it will enter. Please enter a number of inches. I have to give it 24, 23, for example, 0.6. So the value in centimeter is 59.99. Uh, we need to write a program that reads a student name followed by his ID or her ID, and then we will display on the screen the name followed by the academic year. The academic year will be taken from the ID. So if this is the ID, how to get the year from the ID, it will be the first four digits. So I will show you the trick how to do this by writing uh, a statement, arithmetic statement. So let's go to JGrasp. Uh, I have created a project for today's lecture and I am including this program. So I have typed the lines that are important for every Java program, public class student ID, and this is the beginning and the close of the ID. And we write inside public static void and we will start the program here. If you want to read from the user, you need three steps. To تقرأ من اليوزر تحتاج تهيئ البرنامج for reading. So you need to prepare your program for reading. Uh, the first step is you write import java dot util dot scanner, which is this line. Okay. You need to write it outside the class because the class is your program. So you need to write it outside the class. Now our program will stay here. In uh, writing a programs, you can define your variables anywhere in the program. Anytime you need a variable, you just immediately go and define it and use it. But if you do it that way, then your program will not be well organized. You have one variable in the beginning. You have one variable in the middle. You have one variable at the end. So your program, your variables will be distributed around the program. So it's not a good idea you define your variables in separate places. The good design is that you define all your data you need in your program at the beginning. So make a space, call it data declaration. And this area on top, will you need to define every variable you need. Suppose at line number 11, you need a variable, come back to this area and define your variable, variable and then go back because any variable you want to use it, you need to define it. So at the beginning, we know now we need two variables. One is a string, will be for the name. The second one will be for the ID, which is integer, I'm going to call it ID. At this moment, I don't know what is the value. For any variable, we need a type, we need a name, we need a value. Now we don't need, we don't know the value yet, but we will read it from the user. So prepare your program, okay? And I usually, I advise the students to define a keyboard object for reading. And here you write a scanner. I will call it N, that stands for input, new scanner. And then we have system dot n. So this area just defining the scanner and now our data is here. Now we will start the program here in this area. So first is input. So if you go back to the problem, it says write a program that reads a student name followed by his ID. So if you want to read from the user, you need to inform the user what you want to read. So you write system dot out dot a print len or a print. And then you say here, enter your name. You can put colon to separate the input from output. Now, when this message is displayed, the cursor 
we'll go to the next line. The cursor is the moving, blinking, moving, blinking, the place where you type, which is this one. So here we need to wait for the user to type the name. What, where you are going to save it in the variable called name. So here we write name, name equal variable for the keyboard N. You already defined it up here, N. So you can use it here and you write dot. And now we need to know what is the method we use to read a string. If I'm reading integer, you write next int. If you want to read double, you write next double. So here, the, if you want to read single word, you just write next. So here, the, the input will consist of only one word. But if you want to read complete line, then you have to write next line. So if you want to write your phone name, not only first name, so your phone name will consist of a three. Then you have to read the whole line, not only one line. This is statement when the computer comes to it, it will wait for the user. Once the user type enter, it will go to the next one. Next one, we will ask the user for the ID. Okay, enter your ID. And for this particular one, I want to read it on the same line, just to give you an option of how to read. For the first one, the reading will be on the next line. For ID, I will read it on the same line. So where I'm going to save the ID, I'm going to save the ID and this variable. So I will write ID equal n dot next int because I'm reading integer. So after we finish reading, we will go to the next step, which is for process. Now for the process, you have to write an equation. So you need to write an equation for the process. Now, what is the equation? Here it says get the ID from, or sorry, get the academic here from the ID. The ID is already saved in this variable. So how can I extract if the number is 20198971? So how to get rid of these digits? Remember, if you divide this number by 10, if you are using the calculator, the answer will be 201987.1. Because this is 10. But if you remember last lecture, what we said, if you divide integer over integer, then the answer is integer. So the computer will not give you this point. It will give you only this number. So that means if you write this equation, the answer will be 201987. So what happened to the number? شنو صار في الرقم? The rightmost digit deleted. الرقم اللي على الطرف اليمين انمسح because you divided by 10. Now if you divide by 100, then the number 7 will be also deleted. If you divide by Okay, my number, then 201981190. So divide by 10, three will go. Divide by 100, nine will go. Divide by 1000, one will go. And divide, divide, divide by 10,000, eight will go. So this is the idea. If you want to get the academic here from the ID, simply you divide the ID by 10,000. So how to do this? I need to define another variable. I, can, I, can, I will go up because as I said, we need to define all our variables in one place. I will define another integer, comma, and I will call it year. Although, let me show you how I can do it without this step. I can simply directly here, I can say integer year equal ID divided by Remove this constant and put 10,000 and put semicolon. So we are defining the variable on the spot. At the time I need the variable, I define it. But this is not a good programming style because your variables will be yeah, defined in many different places. 
So it's very difficult to manage. So the easiest way is to define your variables up, all your variables up whenever you need them, and then use them directly anywhere you want. Now this is the step for the process. Now for the output, show the result. You have to make your output يعني, easy to understand. So you write message with the answer. It says first you have to print the name, your name. If you go back to the problem statement, it says the program should then display on the screen the student name then followed by the academic year. So the output, you put the name and then uh, you write the academic year. So let us go. So we will say your name is put by the name. And this will be printed on one line. And on the second line, we will print your academic year as and print the year. So I'm using the plus here. The plus is to combine any data, more than one data inside the print. So I'm printing a message and I'm printing a variable. So to combine them together, we use a plus. I'm leaving a space here, see? Because if you don't leave a space, the answer we will get for the year will be close, okay, to the letter S. After we finish, to run the program and compile it, but I did not save it. See here, I did not save it, so I need to save it first. And if you want to save it, you have to give it the same name as the class. ID. So let us save it. Click Save. And now see, it is already suggesting a name for you. See, student ID. Where I want to save it, I want to save it to project March 11. Now, once we save it, See the name now, student ID. So student ID is the name, .java is the name of the program. Uh, you can run it directly, but the first step is compile, which is a plus. Then you press run. But you can do both of them. If there are any errors, we will fix them. So print run. If there are no errors, then your program will run directly. See, so see the message, there is an error. The error here, see down, it says that print, so T is missing, cannot find symbol. So uh, here we have a problem, so we need to fix it. We, pro we put T to correct the problem and now run the program again. Now here it says complete, so no problems. Now we can interact with the program and respond, enter your name, Ali Hassan Muhammad. Press enter, enter your RD 20198765, okay? The program does not check if the ID is exactly eight digits. So if you give seven digits, then it will not give you 2019, it will give 2001. This restriction, we cannot enforce the user to do it unless we write a program inside that uh, check for the size of the ID. So press enter. Press enter. So your name is Ali Hassan Muhammad and your academic year is 2019.